So I think the last time you saw me or heard from me was the grocery haul. So I just wanted to quickly hop on here. Really quick, I'm using my phone because the boys took my camera last night and now my camera is dying. So it's currently charging. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly hop on here and just give you guys a few updates. So the first thing I wanted to say was, would you guys believe me if I told you that this is the third day that we are in this apartment and the apartment is completely finished, fully furnished, finished apartment. If you guys know me at all, or you guys will get to know me, I am a control freak, slash I think I have a little bit of OCD. So my main goal for this apartment was to get it done as soon as possible. Not rushing it, but to get it done as soon as possible because obviously I do have to go back to work eventually. So when I do go back to work, I want to be able to come home after work and just be in my apartment and enjoy how it feels to be living in my apartment. So yeah, the apartment is completely finished. We finished it today. It's currently 6.47 at night. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it so much. I can't wait to give you guys the fully furnished apartment tour. But really quick, I am about to start cooking dinner. I think I forgot to mention to you guys that CJ's cousin also lives in the same apartment complex as us. So yesterday we, as you guys know or might not know, we don't have laundry in our actual apartment. So there are laundry like facilities on the complex. So CJ's cousin is going to come over in a little bit and show us around and show us where the laundry is because we took a walk yesterday and we couldn't really find like where the laundry was. So we need like a little bit of help with that. But yeah, so I just took a shower. I got a little bit ready for the day because we are having some friends come over as well to see the apartment. Connor left. He had to go to work today, so he's not here anymore. So this is kind of like our first alone day in the apartment, but it hasn't really been a full day. So tomorrow will be like our first like full alone day in the apartment. And actually the day that we moved in was our anniversary and obviously it was a very hectic day so we never got to do anything for our anniversary so i think tomorrow we might do something to like celebrate our anniversary but yeah so now that the apartment is finished i'm not sure if i have enough footage for the second part of this vlog so i figured that i would take you guys on a first cook dinner with me video because or part of the video because i am about to cook dinner like i said and don't know if I have enough footage, I just figured it would be cool to film me cooking dinner here for the first time. I'm gonna make what I told you guys, I think I talked about this in a different video, or I think I talked about this early in the vlog, I'm not sure, but I make this meal called kielbasa pasta that CJ absolutely loves, so I am going to be cooking that tonight, and I'm just gonna get it started now, I have to cut up some vegetables and stuff. I'm gonna let my camera charge, hopefully it can get enough charge so that I can get some footage on my camera, and it doesn't have to all be on my phone. But yeah, so I'm about to go start cooking dinner right now, so let's go. So I cannot tell if this is focused or not, but I just wanted to say that I'm the worst because I never even showed you guys what the dinner looked like last night. So I'm so sorry about that. Like I said in last night's clips, we did have CJ's cousins coming over to show us where the laundry room was. And we also had our friends coming over to come see the apartment for the first time. So it was just a lot going on. So by the time that I was cooking dinner, CJ's family had came over and we were talking to them for a while. And then our friends came over and we were talking to them for a while. They had some of the dinner. We were just hanging out with them. So there was just a lot going on at the moment. So I never got to finish filming me cooking dinner and what it looked like and everything. But right now, I figured that I would just add to this vlog because I still don't feel like I have enough footage for the second part of this vlog. So currently, I am in my car, as you can see. I'm going to turn it on because it's really hot. So right now I have a few errands to run, so I just figured I'd bring you guys along with me for a little different part of this vlog. I have to buy some stuff for the apartment, so I just figured it'd be perfect to add to this vlog. I just took a shower, as you can see my hair is wet. I was just walking from the apartment building's office because we had to return some paperwork from when we moved in. Yeah, so I just finished doing that and I bought a laundry card and put some money on the laundry card so we can 
maybe do our laundry tomorrow but yeah so right now i am going to run some errands like i said i'm going to walmart and target and i also have to go to the post office to change our address and get our mail keys so we can get our mailbox keys obviously so yeah right now i'm going to do that and i just figured i would take you guys along with me and yeah let's go okay guys so i have arrived at what i think is the post office but i'm a little lost so we're gonna we're gonna see all right guys so it was the post office so i got some papers we so we can change our address couldn't get the keys today because apparently the last residents who lived in our apartment never returned the mail keys so now i have to come back tomorrow or thursday or whenever i'm free to come back to pick up the keys um, but he said if i'm free around 3 p.m tomorrow that i can come back and pick them up so that's a little annoying because i wanted to get all the errands done today i'm sorry this is so out of focus but it's okay things happen so now i'm going to go to i'm not sure if i want to go to target or walmart first i'm not sure what's closer but i do know walmart is farther from where we live than target is so it is funny because in my old house it was the opposite it was actually walmart that was closer and not target i think i'm gonna go to walmart first just because we have some stuff to return back here so this is an air fryer that cedar's grandma bought us and we plugged it in on moving day and it does not work and then these are some organization containers for our pantry but we opened them and one of them was cracked so i think i'm gonna go there first to just exchange those and then I'm going to go to target since that's closer to home and then we'll be able to go home so yeah i will see you guys when we get to walmart all right guys i've made it to walmart this seems very zoomed in i'm sorry but i made it to walmart and i have everything in the cart that i need to return slash i have bags in there because new jersey does not do plastic bags anymore so here's the stuff that i have to return it's a better look at it than what i got earlier so yeah let's go okay guys so the returns were a success we actually did have to do returns first because he said instead of exchanging you have to just return them and then buy the new ones so i got two gift cards for the things that i exchanged so now i'm looking at some probiotics because i really think that i need to start taking them so i'm trying to see what's a good brand they have the ollie brand right here that's the only one that i'm seeing right now that one but i'm not really sure what the best brand is for vitamins this is the brand that i usually take a vita fusion but yeah i'm just gonna look around and try to see what probiotics i can find these are the ones that i decided on and i think you, i think i'll just give you guys a full haul of what i get from here when i get back into the car or when i get home i'm not sure because if when i get home i can give you guys a haul of everything that i've got total so we'll see what happens but yeah i'm not sure how much more footage i'm gonna get in here because it's kind of packed in here so it's just kind of overwhelming and this is obviously still new to me so i'm still shy but yeah so i will just see you guys possibly when i get back to the car hi guys so i'm back in the car from home right now i think the last clip i recorded was when i was in the vitamin aisle and i said that it was very overwhelming in there because it was busy it actually didn't end up being too bad but i don't think i'm gonna go to target anymore just because i got a majority of the stuff that i needed and wanted at this walmart so i don't think i'm gonna go to target because if i did there would only be like two things that i would need and at this point it's already almost 6 p.m so i'd rather just get home to be back with cj but yeah i pretty much got everything that i wanted and or needed i got the new air fryer and the new set of containers so that's very good i did check the containers before i left and made sure that they weren't broken so there was, those are all good i do obviously have to check the air fryer when i get home because you can't check that in the store but i'm just kind of a little annoyed right now because there was just a rude encounter that this lady said about me. I didn't say anything to her, so I guess it wasn't a rude encounter, but I heard a lady make a rude comment about me. I'm not going to get into it about what she said, but it was just very unpleasant. So it's just it just makes you upset about, you know, like the type of people that there are in this world, but... You know it is what it is so yeah i think i'm just gonna skip target because i was in walmart for a lot longer than i thought i was gonna be and i also spent a lot more than i thought i was gonna spend i think in the last clip i said how the guy at customer service gave me two gift cards for the two items because they were bought at different times but the one gift card for the containers didn't work so i had to unfortunately not use that this time but 
the good thing is me and CJ come to Walmart all the time, so I can probably use it in the future. But it was just a little annoying because I had to spend more money than I wanted to spend. But it's okay. So yeah, like I said, I think I'm going to go home. I forgot that I wanted to get CJ these ice cream bars because he's really been wanting ice cream bars. So I think before I head home, I'm going to stop at this place next to the apartment. I don't want to say the name of it just because I don't want to give my location up too much. But yeah, so I'm going to stop there just to get CJ some ice cream bars because he's really been wanting them. And every time he's been wanting to go to that store, it's been closed. So yeah, I'm going to go get um, CJ those ice cream bars. And then I'll give you guys a haul when I get home of everything that I got. So I'll see you guys at home. Hey guys, so I just got home. And before I carry everything in, I think I want to just quickly surprise CJ with the ice cream on camera. I don't know why, but I think it would be funny just to get his reaction. Because, like I said, he's literally been wanting this ice cream since probably the day we moved in. And it's like four days later now. So I just think it would be like funny to see like his reaction. So I'm going to quickly go inside and just give him the ice cream on camera. Another thing too is I don't think CJ has been on my channel like a lot like I know he was in the Ikea clips and some of the move-in clips but I just think this would be a funny way to get him on my channel so I will be right back. Kobe, hi. I got you a surprise, so I wanted to record your reaction. What is it? Ta-da! What is it? Thank you. <laughs> I'm waiting for this. I got you this one, too. The giant. Thank you. And I got you two more of the small ones. Thank you. <laughs> you happy? Yeah, I'm happy. I'm waiting for them. I was gonna go, I was gonna get them at Walmart, and then when I was checking out, I completely forgot. So I was like, I'm just gonna stop. Mm. That's what I did. I would have just walked there. I know, but I wanted to get that. It's crazy. I know, I was just saying. Hey guys, I'll give you a haul in a few minutes. Okay, guys, so it's haul time. I am home now. Obviously, as you saw, CJ's reaction from his ice cream, so clearly I'm home. But okay, so I got this for CJ from the little store that I was telling you guys about. That's next to the apartment. And then some other stuff that I got from that store. I got some peach rings, cause if you guys don't like peach rings, then what are you doing? Peach rings are really good. I got CJ some more of those ice cream sandwiches, cause like I said, he's been craving them, so just wanted to get him a few. And I got, I'm not sure what you, if you guys are gonna know what this is, but I got a land yogurt. It's just like a little smoked sausage type thing. I really like these as like a little snack. But I got two SpongeBob Pops for myself, cause that just gives me nostalgia. And then I got another sausage thing for myself and another SpongeBob Pop because, again, those are just so good. That's what I used to always get from the ice cream trucks when I was a kid. So I'm going to just put the frozen stuff in the freezer really quick and then I'll give you guys the rest of the haul. Okay, so as I told you guys, I did get the new things. So I got the new set of containers that aren't broken. And then I also got the new air fryer. So those are exciting. Then moving on, I got a few house items. So I got Linen Fresh Spray. This goes in like the thing that like sprays automatically. We have it up here, but it currently has no spray. So if you heard that noise in the back, it's that. It needs to be refilled. And then I got some carpet cleaner. You just sprinkle this on the carpet and vacuum it up. CJ and I were cleaning the apartment yesterday and he wanted this. He thought we already had it and we didn't, so he wanted me to get this. I tried to match the scent, so this scent is clean linen and this one is linen fresh, so they probably smell very similar. And this one's just great value and this one's the Glade brand. And then I got some baby washcloths. I got these because I just think these are softer than obviously adult washcloths. Look at Kobe. What are you doing, Bubba? Yeah, I've been really wanting to use these for when I take a shower, so I just thought these were better than adult washcloths because obviously they're made with the terry material, so they're a lot softer. Then I got Kobe some more food. I got this the other day when we went grocery shopping, I think I showed you guys, but I got the chicken one, and obviously I've been feeding him every day, so he is running low already because I give him, there's like lines on here to show how much you should feed them, so I've been giving him like a quarter a day, so I got that three days ago, I think, so he's like almost halfway through his first one, so I got him this one, it's a beef. Then I just got some Mr. Clean Magic Erasers because as I've been cleaning the apartment, I feel like these are useful. I used to always use these in my other home. So these just work really well for certain things. 
And then I got some red wine vinegar. I used this for my salad dressing, and I didn't get it when we went grocery shopping, and I completely forgot, so I got this, so I can actually make a salad when I'm done with this. I actually changed the probiotics that I showed you guys in the one clip, so I ended up getting these Equate probiotics because they come with a lot more, so they'll last longer, and they were a lot cheaper, so it just felt like a win-win. Then this was the main reason that I went to the store. I wanted to get the Honey Pot Sensitive Foamy Wash, for my shower so this is what it looks like if you guys don't know i don't think it's focusing this is what i got and i'm actually very excited to use this this is one of the reasons why i wanted to go to target but i found it at walmart so i didn't feel like there was a reason to go to target like i said if i did go there would have been like maybe two things that i got but it wasn't needed then i got some liquid chlorophyll because like i was telling you guys with the probiotics like something that i want to start taking chlorophyll is also something that i want to start taking it's not focusing but i just got the spring valley brand and then i got this cute bowl because i just thought it was so cute the design is super cute and it's a pretty deep bowl if you guys can tell so i think this would be good to make salads in because i like to make pretty large salads when i eat salads then moving on i got a few bags of chips because we didn't really get a lot of chips that i wanted when we went grocery shopping so i just got this bag of kettle salt and vinegar chips I got a bag of white cheddar pop quarters, and I got a bag of pretzels. I also got this really cute plant because I think this would look cute on the back of me and CJ's bed. And then I got this mirror for you guys can see yourselves. But I got this mirror for my vanity so I can easily see myself when I'm doing my makeup. This just seemed like a cool mirror, and I like how it doesn't have anything on the back because, you know, how some mirrors are like the regular on the front and the large on the back. I don't really like that. So yeah, I just thought this was super cute. So that is the end of this haul. I actually think I'm going to end this video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it up to this point, comment this emoji. If you did like this video, leave a comment down below. Subscribe, share, and I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. And in the next video will be the furnished apartment tour. So stay tuned. Can't wait to show you. Say bye, Kobe. Kobe. Bye, guys.